Hello and welcome. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to go over quickly how to export animation with a transparent background from Adobe Character Animator and into Camtasia. So what is the problem that we're trying to solve here? Well, Character Animator doesn't have any functionality that I'm aware of that allows you to export an animation with a transparent background. Now, why would you want to export an animation with a transparent background? Well, the, the common use case and the use case that I ran into was I wanted to overlay an animation of me talking on top of a PowerPoint presentation. But when I tried to export my animation uh, from Character Animator, I got a black background and I started doing a bunch of Google searches and YouTube searches to try and find how to export an animation with a transparent background. And there weren't a lot of uh, really good answers. So I wanted to make this video to go over the process uh, to export it and then import it into Camtasia. But I will say that the process that I'm going to use probably uh, could be used in other tools besides Camtasia as well. In fact, I, I know the, the functionality is available in other uh, tools besides Camtasia as well. So navigating to Character Animator, I have this sample animation with a small recording attached to it. And this is the piece that I want to export with a transparent background. So the first thing that I want to do here is create a green background behind the animation. I'm using Microsoft Paint, but depending on what platform you're on, whether it's Linux or Mac, go ahead and open up an equivalent program. Once it's open, I'm going to use the fill with color option, and then I'm going to select uh, green as the color of the fill. And I'm just going to put green as 255 and leave the rest as zero. Notice that the size of my canvas is pretty large. Uh, you do want to make sure that it's large enough to fill the character animator background. Um, it's okay if it's too big, it doesn't need to be, but if it's too small, it won't, uh, it won't cover the whole background. Once you've done that, go ahead and save this green screen to a file location that's easily accessible to you. And we're going to open it up in Character Animator. Now going back to Character Animator, I'm going to go up to File, and then I'm going to select Import. I'm going to go to the location to which I saved the green screen, and I'm going to import the green screen. And as you can see, the green screen has been successfully imported. So I'm going to drag the green screen down and include it now as part of the recording. I layered it on top, so I'm going to move it to the bottom layer. And now we can export this animation. So I'm going to go up to File and then select Export and then export via Adobe Media Encoder. And this should automatically start Media Encoder prompts me for a place to save the export. Now I'm going to jump to Media Encoder and start the encoding for this particular animation. Okay, so now that we've successfully exported the animation, we want to import it into Camtasia. So I'm going to go ahead and jump to Camtasia. And then in Camtasia, I just select File, Import, and then Media. And then I select the media that I want to import, which in this case is the uh, exported animation. Once it's imported, I'm just going to drag it down onto Track 2. And then I'm going to right-click on the animation in the Camtasia canvas. And I'm going to select Add Visual Effect and I'm going to select Remove a Color. You'll notice that as soon as I select that, the green screen behind the animation disappears. That's because I had already previously selected green as the color to remove. But if you do need to select green, go ahead and navigate up to the color swatch here. And then we're going to switch the mode to RGB and then just set the RGB value to 0, 255, 0. And I'll real quickly resize the animation here. And there we go. I hope you learned something in this video, and there might be better ways to do this. And if you know of a better way, please comment below and let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching.